子哑了。Good chase, gain some extra penetrate. Chase again, extra penetrate, grab a little defense versus some sustain here, then activate our next card. It did hit. We hit for 52. And then we're gonna smack again for Jesus brother. What is going on, brothers and sisters? Welcome back to Yi Jian, the auto battler deck building game featuring cultivation at its peak epitome. And we have a new character drop. We got Mu Hu here, and we are going to take him on an adventure. So, just to give everyone, I haven't unlocked him yet, but I probably will. He is pretty awesome. Quick character overview Buddy the Fierce Tire. Every time you break through, you get two, three, four, five more max HP for a total of 14 right there. Pretty good. Uh, when you. When absorb wood spirit card, add one max HP. So that's really good. So absorbing means you absorb it for cultivation, not playing it. You're absorbing it into you for cultivation. So you can get some good max HP with this boy. Uh, draw one Kunwu metal ring. So with this, whenever you gain defense or penetrate, gain an additional two, three, or four stacks. I haven't seen us draw this card in my couple playthroughs, only when I got this ability. So you have to level it up otherwise. And then at four this is a big crux of this build that i'm probably going to showcase today is the metal spirit vigorous because with nine attack you get for every stack of penetrate it adds one attack but it will not trigger the effect of penetrate so it also will not consume penetrate uh, either so you can just get a big slammer damage down right and then finally the last one pretty good if you're going for an earth build uh, gain some attack and then earth spirit defense have for each reduced point add three more attack so if you're getting a huge defense build you can really stack out the damage so we got boy who here boy who i believe him boy who boy boy who boy who that's the character and he looks amazing the first anamorphic character in the batch here and he just looks freaking sweet so let's get into a battle here we're going to just play a casual game. I'm still getting to understand him, and I haven't bought him yet, but I will person with the in-game currency. It's very easy to get characters in this game. You just play the game, and you can unlock them quite easily. First round is starting. Took a minute. Mm. Nothing great so far. I'm going to probably re-roll here. Mm. So far, this is my only gambit. I'm going to re-roll the metal. All right, it's uh, not a good run at all here. Just going to combine those so I can get seven attack. So, not very synergetic. One of the problems with this, with these builds is sometimes you just don't get a good first turn within the five elements sec, but that's okay. The first turns, they don't really matter. So we're going to gain some HP here. It'll pretty much be irrelevant on the first turn because I didn't consume that other card they're gonna go first so actually it did work out well so i gained some of that back getting pretty much all that hp back as well so but we're pretty weak here we, we're not a very big build so hopefully with our sustain we can maybe pull off a victory it'll be pretty close though he's got some defense there so it really takes our damage down it's not looking in our favor though definitely not in our favor we are gonna lose this battle that's all right though i pretty much expected that not being able to activate earth spirit to gain that extra five attack if i had the defense so <laughs> i'm gonna go with the elixirist on this because i want to be able to level up some cards i may not otherwise be able to now hopefully i can gain a a uh, a chi here mm, i might hold on to that let's re-roll this oh geez um gonna re-roll that i'll combine those because i might use it yep it's just gonna be what happens here so we're gonna use this let's check what their battle is so yeah using my third attack will be good there just look at the card too and also just eat some bamboo mm, delicious 
So I really need to gain some chi. I do want to segue at some point into a earth metal build and then mostly a metal build afterwards, but we'll kind of see what the cards lay out for us. If anything, we, we could go with uh oops. I should have combined those. I really wanted to use two separate ones though. Gain that extra HP since our damage is so low. Just have some higher sustain. Love a good hexagram build. They're very fun characters to play. And people just... A lot of people don't understand hexagrams, especially outside of rank. So when people get matched up against you for like the first couple times they see it they think that you're just winning by luck and they don't realize that the hexagrams make you hit your max potential every time or any percentage chance gives it a maximum percent all right there's my extra chi i'm gonna throw this in here uh that'll be defense i'm gonna consume these let's break through uh when absorbing i want to gain i'll gain some hp so that's good let's do this actually let me see what do you got here Pretty much going to be damaging me all throughout. Let me see. What's my... I'm at nine cultivation. I'm going to go first. It'll go me, them, then me. I'll block all that damage unless they move their stuff around. Yeah. I'm going to do that and then we'll follow up with attacks. That'll have some healing. Follow up with a big heal at the end. Um, do I need that heal? I don't even think I need that heal. I think it's too much. Let's put in the five elements flesh. Yeah, that'll be good. So far, we're going for a wood build, but I do want to segue. Remember, when you're, especially if you're trying to get a specific build that you like, be flexible. You, the beginning of the game is very much just about the cards you're given, and really the whole game is. There will be times you never see a couple certain specific cards that you're trying to get, and you have to be flexible. So understanding the sect that you're in is really helpful for that. See, now we're pretty much going to stay at max here. Took a little bit of damage, but he just knocked us down with that. He's also got a very weak build. He did change it up, but I still, I still made out with the defense there at least. So, and now we'll just be recovering some HP on these hits. Big hit on, on this, uh, water spirits though. It's all right though. We'll, we'll come out on top here. Just barely, but we got it. All right, I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab the chase here because uh, a chase in your builds are very, very good for you. I'm gonna throw this on the end. Let's take this reroll. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to that. All right, this will give me chi plus two, so this could be really good. The only unfortunate thing is, you know, I don't start with wood spirit, right? So. Add one HP for every stack of attack. Well, you know, I don't really need that, but it, it doesn't benefit me yet anyways. So there's still quite a few things I could get. I'm going to eat this. So you'll see max HP is now 54. I gained that one HP for, for absorbing a wood spirit card. So it's, it's such a nice perk because if you're not using wood spirits in your deck, you're going to, you're going to absorb a lot of them. Every single one of them pretty much. Becomes one less thing to re-roll, and so if you're bad at managing your re-rolls, like me, like I always try and re-roll for things way too often. So my re-rolls tend to be a little less than where they should be, especially near the end game. That was big hits. We're gonna lose this. They got a good good sword intent build to kick off with. Let's see, with the dealing extra continuous damage, and she stacked them up here, so they're gonna hit once and bam, couple extra hits on this, and we're gonna go right down. There it is. Good fight. The sword and temp builds are really good at the start because they're always about just getting big damage out fast. All right. So if I do something like this, let's get rid of. Let's get rid of this. These these are not coming out the way I want them to at all. This could be very beneficial. So let me do bring that in. Bring these up here a minute. Let's go move this through. That's a metal spirit. I mean, it's great, but we don't need metal spirit. Yeah, We're, we are. I am getting a major shaft on my cards here. Another wood spirit card. Like I need more chi. Four attack. 
this could be beneficial. So I could do something like this, for instance. And then I'll get a little bit of ignore attack here. I might even do this, actually. A little less attack, but we'll gain some HP. Get a little bit more sustain. Cards are not in my favor right now, but it's all right. Again, it's the early game. Everything can change really fast with a good couple of draws. I'll just try and maximize damage the best we can, as well as some sustain. Bring that sustain up, gain a little more HP here. There we go. All right, we can absorb this to gain a, a max HP. I'm going to add this up here just to bake that a bit better. Let's also absorb this. Let's break through. Blue is where we want to be for this. So this is going to be very useful. It's just not now because I have no cards to benefit from this. So it's quite unfortunate, but I'm going to do something. I really wanted to do this. But I don't have the chi. I could do this, actually. This will still work. This so I can get some... Get an extra attack in here without trying to reroll these. If I combine these together, we can gain uh, two defense every time on an Earth Spirit card, plus an extra two defense stacked when we gain that defense. So... It's it's still the play, but we gotta we got to maintain here. If I'm not going to gain earth cards or like if I'm just going to gain wooden fire cards, I guess we'll just be a, a wood god this time. That's all right. We'll be Moi Hui the, or yeah, Moi Hui, Moi Hui, Moi Hui, the, uh, the druid will be the world's best druid, the druid of soul. Actually, we'll be the druid of Beijing since this is a Chinese orientation game. Get 17 damage because again the hex remember the hexes give you the max of a range so gain the 10 defense because of that max range get a little hp back gain a little hp back here next we'll gain a little hp again and survive for the finish all right very close games but there the sustain is working for us because that's all we got right now really we're gaining every every complete section here we're gaining what 10 14 hp so Good water spirit cards. Level good water spirit build. Um, hmm. I'm just going to combine. I was thinking about running two, but. So we're definitely, I'm good for the earth. I just really need to uh, gain some earth cards. I'm surprised at how little I'm finding here. It's very uncommon. For me, at least. You know what? I'm going to do this, put you here, and I'm going to put you at the end. That way, this attack is ignoring defense. And I still need this because obviously I need the Chi for the second Wood Spirit Bud. And also because the generation of effects here, it'd be fire into wood. And I don't have a wood yet, so. Or earth. I could put this here and it would still work the same, but we need that Chi. And this does absolutely nothing besides gaming defense because we have no other cards. We have no we have no earth element cards right now. Good damage. Such a good card, the falling thunder. Does a good amount of damage for a level one card. You can see the palm thunder. It's a tier under, but it's um it's a level two card, still less damage overall. Good, good card though because it's a free, free action. There's no chi involved. Sustain is holding me pretty strong right now, and held us in. Even the ignore defense pro helped us a little bit there too. All right, so we're getting some cards here now. So what I can do here? Let's make some adjustments. Let me get rid of this. So I can put in an Earth Spirit. And 
I could do something like this where I activate Earth Spirit twice. So I get the generating effect here. I think that might be in my best interest. And then I... Dude, I still need some more Chi, though. Uh, is this the way I want to go about it? Yeah, that way this will ignore this will ignore armor because only one of the two attacks will ignore armor here. Yeah. I might put in the the earth formation soon, but I would like to have at least one more card because I'm not really gaining anything. I can put in our blue though, because then I'll gain a little bit of extra defense and I'll gain a little bit of extra pierce as well. So that little bit can probably help us a long way. But because we're doing damage to them when they hit us while we have our shields up in these two turns right here. Gain a little bit of HP, do a little damage, gain HP, and this should finish him off. Perfect. Going pretty well for a hodgepodge kind of hand. You know, the multi-elements decks are very good. They're just hard to manage sometimes. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Let's get a revision here. I'm going to move all these out for a... S Shit, didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. Let's bring in this. Let's bring in this. Come on. Yeah, there we go. So that penetrate that'll add some extra I'm gonna get rid of I'm gonna keep the sustain no I'm gonna keep we're gonna go for more damage instead I do something like this yeah add some extra damage in there and then I think I want more damage. Let's see if we can maintain some good sustain with this. Again, not the best hand. Blue cards are going to be very helpful for us, though. So I do want to get some. I'm going to be segmenting this out of the deck now. Let's eat this. I did get a metal spirit. I do have two metals. I think I want more metal. Now, let's go with the defense. Let's try and stay alive a bit. I'm not too strong, so I think the sustainability will do us better than the little bit of damage I'll be generating. End game for me is to use the metal formation, though, not the earth. Earth is just for now. And I left in my wood spirit card. Bad idea. I don't I don't use chi, so that was a complete waste of my of a card there. I should have swapped that out. I wasn't paying attention. This one right here. Because what's great about Earth and Metal is they don't use Chi. Look at that. Look at all that defense. Gain, gain some stacks of penetration off that because it goes twice. Hits for some good hits. Little sustain there. Look at all this Chi because of what we're generating over here. So they're going to win this because they've got better sustain than we do. I'm still too weak. And I'm wasting a turn with this Wood Spirit Seal. Oh, actually, I ended up winning because of the... Of the timeout so when battles last for too long it does time out let's up let's break through get my metal vigorous spirit here now i'm going to have this we're gonna drop this out so i'm gonna start off we're going to i think this will be good so we'll i'm gonna swap in this actually yeah, I'll swap this in now. I'm going to cycle this. We need some cards here. Just combine those for a moment. Lots of fire. That's a good fire card. Love Chase. Chase is so good in every deck. Good Metal Spirit. That's a great card to get now. Now we'll get three, five stacks of penetration every time we add penetrate. Going to junk one more card. What's our opponent up to here? Uh, we should go first. Good Chi deck. All right, so they do start off with an attack. So we'll add a little defense, chase, get more defense, play this a couple times, then attack with penetrate. But we're not going to use up our penetrate until we get back to this card. 
So actually, ideally, I would need to get rid of this card and then I can only the only thing that'll consume chase is nothing or penetrate is nothing. And I'll always gain it back on my on our last hit here. So it'll increasingly get stronger. Because remember, this is the card where for every stack of penetrate, you gain an attack, but it doesn't trigger the effect. So you just do more damage. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful. So you see we did 40 damage there. Now we're going to use it up here, which is still fine because it gave us the early win. Okay, good. We got another metal formation. I'm going to reroll all these because we need a lot of blue and purple. So uh, Earth Spirit Cliff right here. I was like, I know I'm using this card. Getting junk a couple things just to make some room. Okay, so we're not going to need Earth Spirit Formation. This is just a decent end goal here. Now, what I could do is I don't really need the defense here. I could do this, and then my next two attacks will ignore defense. And actually, if I do, yeah, it won't actually matter. I just do this here. So I'll gain a little bit of the penetrate. We'll use it automatically with our metal spirit shuttle unless they block the damage, then it won't use up the penetrate, which could be good for us. And we'll use this to ignore, actually that we're going to ignore defense. So they're not going to block this unless they have a, a guard up, right? So we'll hit with that for just a little extra damage, but then this will also go through any defense they have. Let's see. They're not, they do have a little bit of defense, but it's not a lot. So I don't think that's actually going to be beneficial. So I'm going to swap in this defense here. That'll be good. I'll keep these as alternates. If we have people that are playing defensive builds, I'll swap that in. So Metal Spirit Vigorous is going to penetrate that defense in a good attack. Whereas if they're not using any defense, I don't need to penetrate. So this is just an extra. So I'd rather add a little bit of defense in our cards here. Especially in the middle for a build like this, they're always going to be hitting us. So mitigating any amount of damage will be fine. I do want to get another metal spirit charge. There's a lot of passive metal spirits that don't generate, that don't use up penetrate. Those are what we are looking for. That and some earth cards to balance them with until uh, we mostly move into a pure metal build. Like 25 defense there that was great it gave us helps us gain a little couple extra stacks of penetrate but really it's just to help with damage mitigation 31 stacks good hits there bam hit him pretty hard didn't use up those stacks we kill him right there boom good fight thank you very much and that that's a capped out metal spirit formation so now we're going to gain six stacks you could vouch to, to remove this for a tier two metal spirit formation if you're not utilizing earth anymore, since you would gain three stacks of penetrate every time you play metal spirit. So let's see, who are we reversing here? We're reversing this guy, all hexagrams, hex, they're going to chase, they're going to gain some star power. Yep, they're going to add a bunch of chi. Yep, they're going to be smacking hard and hopefully they replace that card because they're left on empty there. It's not a good play. So let's absorb this. I could level up, but I don't want to right now. I really want more of these cards, but it's it's going to be beneficial, I think. So let's just do that. One, two, three. I'm going to get rid of the Earth Formation. Let's break through. Earth Spirit Landside, we're not doing a defense build. We're going to go Metal. We'll play again another time where we go full defense and play more with that. Let's see. Max HP plus this. Uh, every time you play five elements card, if the last... As a generating interaction, then add three penetrate. Yeah, I'll use I'll grab that. I might not use that until the et for the end game, but for the mid game, that could really help us to slam some people down. Because obviously, with the HP scaling, every time a new round begins, I think you gain it's two cultivation and two max HP. So we obviously have a lot of max a max HP right now from eating up wood element cards like 115 they're at 82 82 82 84 95 88 and 82 
So our max HP, it, it's gold. We could have made that more, but we can also eat cards to get it. I think gaining that, or actually that should be five penetrate each time because of the generating effect here. Whenever you gain penetrate, gain two additional stacks. So we'll gain penetrate on a generation effect plus on the usage of cards. Too bad this is doesn't count as a metal card, even though it says it's a metal ring, but that's just our weapon on our hand there. We're going to add a little extra defense. Bam. Got already up to 11 stack. Got 25 defense. Boom. Knocked that down. It did apply the weaken, but that's all right. Gone after a turn, so. Smack him for big damage there. We're going to be unable to act, but that's fine because we're just going to knock him silly right here for another 54 damage. Good fight, brother. Good fight. That's the go champion. All right, good. We got this. I'm going to knock that up a level. I'm going to absorb this to increase my max HP. Now we're at 119. Awesome. This is such a great card when you're using multiple elements or even two, but we're not using multiple. We are using multiple elements, but I've got other things to do besides chase. So I am going to just knock that aside. Knock this aside. Another great one. Continuous two times. If there's only one type of element in your five element stack, this is fantastic with a fire build, in my opinion. Works really well for a metal build, too. Ooh, now this is what I'm looking for. So this is why I like to go Elixir with this, because upgrade one level one card in your hand or deck randomly. You can level these up to upgrade two level one cards or upgrade four level one cards, but it doesn't really make a difference to upgrade them. So we're going to do this. So this is not a level one. So that means my metal ring, my chase card, my cultivation, or my vigorous spirit could all be upgraded. Oh, yes. And it became vigorous spirit. So the metal spirit vigorous got leveled up here. That's the only way to level it up from what I understand. I don't know of any other means thus far, at least, or at least on my levels to gain these cards. So now that leveled up, it doesn't generate any extra penetrate for us, but it increases attack by six. So six attack is pretty big, especially getting towards the end games here. I'm going to hold this. Let's see. I don't think anyone is really stacking defense. All of these guys, like all of these belong to the cloud sword sex. So they're going to be stacking uh, mostly defense or sorry, not these two. These are a part of the hexagram or the hex pavilion. These guys here. So they're going like full cloud sword. Um, our go guy isn't really using a lot of goes, but it's a pretty weak build. Honestly, this is pretty good. One stack of star power. No, no, he's removing a stack. It's, it's not bad. It's bursty, but it, it's not sustainable. What do we got over here? So they got two continuous. They put one at the front and one in the middle. But they're not gaining chi. Where are they gaining chi? They gain chi right here because this is a star point. So they gain one there and they're doing it there too. That's goofy. It's a bit odd. They're not gaining a lot of chi. So they're like really forcing the HP in there. chi plus two with a musician card fantastic great great card for musicians right here chord in tune Ooh, the skipping of the card really hurts my build but that's okay this is such a fun card too the great spirit it's all right though we've, we've got big damage here so they're gonna move through pretty quickly but seeing how they're not they're not really hitting us for too much right now their build's not complete. It's mainly them trying to skip turns. Um, this is a very inadequate deck. It, they don't have enough heals. So this, the Revitalize, super good when you have a big heal deck. Next one turns. Yeah. Oh, amazing. We got another Enlightenment Elixir. So hold on. I'm going to, I'm just going to trash. Actually, I'll re-roll a bit first before I trash. Okay. I got another chase. So I am going to dump this now. I'm going to move. I'm going to do this here. So now nothing else is going to trigger except for this at the moment. I am fine with this. So we chase into this and then we'll activate that. Do it again. Then we'll chase right into the spirit. Okay. That's a fun time. 
Reroll. Oh my god, we got another one. Um, I might as well combine them. I've never used two. Awesome. So we got the penetrate and this up. So this going up is great because now it's going to affect this as a level two card, which is what we do want to see. I wonder what would happen if I did that with Metal Spirit Vigorous over here. Activate the five elements of the next effect and trigger its effect. So would I'd like hit the... I wonder if I would hit the damage. I'm so far ahead I could test that. I have to play it like this though. Which doesn't work well. You know, we can afford a loss. Let's do it for science. Ready up. I want to see if we'll get two attacks off, basically. Will I hit for the Metal Spirit for however many stacks of Penetrate we hit, and then just do it again afterwards? That's what I would uh, feel would happen based on the effects here. I would just hit for 15 less, but I'll also gain Penetrate doing that from playing the card. So it'll make the second hit even more powerful. Good chase, gain some extra penetrate. Chase again, extra penetrate, grab a little defense versus some sustain here, then activate our next card. It did hit. We hit for 52, and then we're going to smack again for 59. Jesus, brother. All right, it worked like I thought, and it worked phenomenally. We're going to grab this. We're going to swap this in. So the next two times my defense is reduced, restored immediately. So that is better than this. This does give me a bit of damage, but this is just sustained. So I'll hold the sustainability every time. Oh, man. So we're going to hold on this. So Metal Spirit, reduce damage by five when you are attacked or damaged for two turns. Great card. We're going to swap that out if I can get the gold standard for my deck. I forget what it's called. Um, it, it's the metal like tripod looking dealy guy. This is a pretty fun one, too. Oh, jeez. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm not going to need this. Here it is. That's the guy. going to chunk that. I am going to take these out now. Shoot, I re-rolled one of the cards by mist. Oh, I think I, I ate the wrong card. It's okay. So we're just going to do this. And... Let's just... I'm just going to eat this. I'm just going to put this up here for a moment because I did mess up. Eat this. That gets upgraded. I did mess up. I accidentally ate one of the Metal Spirit cards by mistake. It's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to put it up at the front here just to gain some more charges. But unfortunately, I did make a mistake, but that's fine. So if I get injured, he'll chase here. I'm going to go first. I have 71 cultivation. They have 66. So I'm going to prevent them from dealing damage to me. So they're going to lose their chase on their first turn, which will be pretty big. Um, They're going to gain some increased attack. So they'll gain five. It's a pretty good build. Not going to lie. It's a little slow, but that's just kind of how it goes. Yeah, they'll do a good job. So they I have to be killed before giant tripod hits. If giant tripod hits, it's a one hit kill pretty much. I might not even need metal spirit vigorous anymore. Because if the opponent is injured by the card, double the HP deducted. It's big, big damage. So if I was going to deal 60, 50 damage, it'll be 100 damage. Putting it at the end there basically guarantees us to to one to knock out everybody in the first round here. Ideally, I would want a third chase card. Because now it's just about building the penetrate fast and getting to the end. So we see here we'll chase, we'll hit. So we did 55, I've got 40. And then we're gonna smack them here for about 90 damage. Yeah, 92 plus an extra 14 pen. Knocked him down to negative 71. Absolutely demolished him. Increase some HP. Increase some HP. Let's see if we can spin for something decent. Great card, by the way. Awesome. And 
in multi decks or fire decks to knock down their HP. Um, you know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to grab some extra pen. So here I'll gain some defense and gain some penetration. Because with this card now, I'm going to gain a little extra defense. So I'll gain a little extra penetration. Then we'll chase. Yeah, then we'll chase. We'll gain some extra defense, gain some more penetration. Then we'll chase again, smack them, and then finish them in one go. These guys do not know what they're gonna hit. What's gonna hit them? This is Boy Hui, the Metal God. He is the Metal Tiger God right now. What one of my favorite builds to to peruse down. Uh, something that can stop us though, uh, because some people might think this is unstoppable. You can use attacks that you, you could have defense. So remember, penetration only hits if the basic attack breaks through. So this would break through because this is adding attack. So this would demolish like 50, 50 uh, defense. But if you get a pure earth build, you can block all that damage. And then when tripod hits, it's only dealing 11 damage. So if you block 11 damage, it's not going to injure and activate penetrate because penetrate is based off of injury. I'll hover over it here just for some of you guys, just in case. Skipped a card there. That's fine. So when attacking, if the opponent is injured, it will trigger and clear penetrate, dealing damage of how many penetrated stacks you have. So it has to deal that 11 in order to activate it. So don't think they're unbeatable. Play your defensive cards, have some backup cards ready. But these guys, they're not going to they're not going to get it. They, they haven't built up defense the entire time. Guard up stacks would work well. I have a couple attacks here. But if you played it so you would pop a guard up or two near the end of my sequence, these are only one attack each, so you could block at least one of them and make it through the next cycle and then try and eliminate me then. Uh, defense plus 12, add one for every six defense reduced. Great card for earth builds. Uh, here we go. So I want to grab this. Put this here, actually swap that over here. Obviously, I don't need guard up, plus I don't have cheat. Oh, another. Get some more damage reduction here. So they're holding on with their lives. Now, great idea. They're going to try and reduce max HP. The only issue here is they got to move fast. They are moving fast. They got two chases. They need at least four chases. They got to combine these together, get a third chase in here for sure, and blast through this list. We have the same amount of chase. He's not going to win. I do too much damage. You have to either be faster than the build or be stronger than the build. And this is a, you know, the fire builds. A lot of fun if you guys want to see more builds especially on the five elements sect five element sect is one of my favorite plays and it's what i usually play ranked on you saw i was like almost 1600 i've only played a few games but we slap pretty hard but if you want to see more on those make sure you hit that like button down below leave me comments as well let me know how your games of ygn are going or just if you got questions i'm glad to help come over to the discord as well if you're new do hit that subscribe button as well so you can be back here for that sweet jabby content but all right let's a couple more re-rolls. That's it. I'm just going to eat the cards. 82 cultivation. You can't even come close to us. We got 131 max HP. You ready to see a slapper? This is Moi Hui. The Metal God Tiger. He is an unstoppable beast in the end game. You can see I have 92 destiny right now. I've only lost in the very beginning rounds as we were building our deck. And here, you're going to watch us just come in give him one big slap in the face and then here we're gonna deal almost like another 100 damage there we go 114 extra damage that's how boy the tiger the metal tiger god reigns supreme i hope you all enjoyed this playthrough of yujian like i said i'm loving the tiger god if you want to see more make sure you hit that like subscribe as well all the good stuff and we'll come back with boy the metal god as or the earth god as well but all right brothers and sisters as usual this has been shabby do i hope the rest of your day is not too shabby